Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we are creating this website using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And right now we are in the process of converting this design into a Blogger template. And this is our progress as of now. We have added the design to the home page. And we have also created this uh, blog list page over here. And we can see that all the dynamic data are being displayed over here. And now in this video, I'll show you how to display these recent posts in the home page. So if you scroll down, here we have this blog section and right now we are getting this data from a static code that we have. So it is not being fetched from our website. So in this video, we will fetch our latest posts from our blogger website and display them over here. So let's get started. Now for displaying this post, we're going to use blogger JSON feed. So for that, you can just go over here to your website URL and just type forward slash feeds forward slash posts forward slash default. And here we can add some parameters. So for example, if I just type alt equals JSON and uh, press enter. Here we can see that we have some JSON data about our posts and uh, here we have the feed and in the feed we have all these data. And if you scroll down here, we can see we have the entry and in that we have all the posts. So we can see that these are all the posts that we have. And if I open one of these, here we can see that we have the ID, we have the published date, we have the updated date, the categories, then we have the title in here, then we have the content of the blog post. And uh, then we have all these links over here. Then we have the author name and all these things over here. We also have the URL of the thumbnail. So we're going to use all this data to design our homepage to display the latest posts. Now here we can see that we are getting all this complete post over here. Now we don't want this complete post, we just want the summary. So for that we can just change this to posts forward slash summary. And uh, let's press enter. And now if you scroll down and if you go to entry, here let's open one of these posts and here we can see that we have the summary instead of the whole body of the post. Now here we can add other parameters as well. So if I just type ampersand max results and if I just type three and now if you scroll down and if you go to entry, now we can see that we just have three of the posts fetched over here. So we'll also use this max results parameter because we just need to have three posts in our home page. So here we can see we have the three posts. So let's go to our dashboard and let's go to theme. Let's click on this arrow and let's click on edit HTML. And let's scroll down and let's go to the end of the blogger theme code. And uh, here I'll just create a script tag. Now in the script tag, we will add an SRC. And in the SRC, let's type forward slash feeds, forward slash posts, forward slash summary. And let's type question mark, alt equals, and here we can see that we are adding this alt equals JSON, but uh, in our theme code, we will add alt equals JSON in script because we're gonna get this data and execute some code on this data. So we will use JSON in script. And let's add an ampersand over here and let's tap max results equals three. And let's add one more ampersand. And here we need to provide a callback function. So let's tap callback and uh, let's name the function populate latest posts and since this is an xml file we need to change ampersand into amp semicolon and here also we need to type ampersand amp semicolon right now let's create a script tag before this and uh, here i'll just create this function that we just named so it is called populate latest posts so here i'll just type const populate latest posts equals this function and in this function we will get some data and I'll just call it data over here. And for now, I'll just go ahead and display the data. So let's type console.log data. And let's type data over here. And let's go ahead and click on save. Let's go back to our website and let's go to the home page. And let's reload. Right now, let's go to the console. And here we can see that we have this data and we have some errors over here. That's because we don't have this image. So let's open the data and in that we have the feed. Let's open the feed and the feed we have all this data and this is the exact data that we saw in our JSON feed. 
And in the field, we have the entry and we have three posts because we just added max results of three and that we have everything just as we saw earlier. So now the next thing we need to do is we need to get just the entry because we don't need to have any other data. So let's go back to our code and uh, here let's create a const and let's call it posts equals data dot feed dot entry. So this will give us the data of the entry and store it inside posts. And now the next thing we will do is uh, we will go to our home page and here we need to remove all this data and we need to get the data from our blog post. So let's go to our code and uh, let's go to this section. So it is our latest articles. I'll just search for it. And here we have the section and uh, let's remove everything inside the services container. So here we have three divisions. We will leave this services container blank. Right now let's scroll down and uh, here let's target the services container and we need to target it inside this post division because we have the same services container over here as well. So for this post we have an ID of blog. So let's tap const posts container equals document dot query selector hash blog and then we will tab services container and now the next thing we need to do is we need to loop through all these posts so let's type posts dot for each and for each of the posts i'll just call it post let's create an arrow function over here and now we need to extract all these details so first of all let's extract this title so i just type const title equals and let's go back to our json feed and here let's change this to summary let's scroll down and go to entry and here we have the title and inside the title we have dollar symbol t and there we have the title so let's type post which we are getting from here dot title dot dollar symbol t and then we'll get the link of the post so if you scroll down here we can see that there are different values in the link array now what we need to have is this href which is the last one and it has a rel of alternate. So we need to get this one and we need to fetch the href from here because this is the link of the post. So let's go back and uh, here let's type const link equals and let's tap post and that we have the link and we need to find something. So let's tap dot find and here let's call it l and let's create an arrow function and let's tap l dot rel and it should be equal to alternate and from that we need to get the href so let's tap dot href All right now the next thing we will do is we will get the summary so the summary is right here in the post we have the summary and in that we have dollar symbol t so let's tap const summary equals post dot summary dot dollar symbol t and we'll just check whether the summary is available and if it is available then we'll just type post dot summary dot dollar symbol t or else we'll just add an empty string and the next thing we need to get is the labels so here we have labels inside category that we have the two labels that we have in our post so for that let's go ahead and type const labels equals post dot category and if we have the post category then let's type post dot category dot map and let's map through all the labels and from the labels we need to get the term so we have two things over here we have the scheme and the term we just need to get the term so let's type cat you can call this anything you want equals greater than cat dot term so this will get the term and store it inside these labels and if you don't have the labels available then i'll just provide an empty array and the next thing we need to have is the thumbnail so if you scroll down I think for the first post we don't have the thumbnail so let's scroll down and here we can see for the thumbnail we have this media dollar symbol thumbnail and in that we have the url so let's go back over here and uh, let's type const thumbnail equals post dot media dollar symbol thumbnail and if we have the thumbnail then let's type post dot media dollar symbol thumbnail and if we don't have the thumbnail then we'll provide the link of our placeholder image so let's go back to our dashboard and here if you go to pages and if you click on image for the theme here we have a placeholder image 
So let's copy the link of that. So this is the image. I'll just right click over here and click on copy image address. Let's go back and let's paste it over here. And I think that's basically it with all the details that we need. Now let's go ahead and create the HTML structure. So let's create a const and let's name it post HTML equals and let's add backticks. Now here we need to get the HTML for the service. So let's go to our source code and uh, here we have the HTML for the service. So let's copy it from here and let's copy it till here. Let's go back and paste it over here. And now we need to replace all of this with our details. So first of all, for the link, let's go ahead and change this to dollar symbol color braces link because we are getting the link over here. And then we have the image. So let's change this to dollar symbol curly braces thumbnail. And for the alt, let's type dollar symbol curly braces title. We are getting that from here as well. And then we have the content. And here for the link, let's change this to dollar symbol curly braces. And let's tap link over here. And then we have the title. Let's remove this and uh, let's add dollar symbol curly braces title. And then we have the labels. So for the labels, we need to loop through all the labels. So let's tap dollar symbol curly braces and let's tap labels dot map. And here let's call each of the labels label and let's create an arrow function. And here let's return the label HTML. So I'll just copy this and I'll just paste it over here. And for the link, we can just type forward slash search forward slash label forward slash and then the actual label. So let's tap dollar symbol curly braces label. And we are getting that from here. And we have the class and then here for the actual label name, let's change this to dollar symbol curly braces label. And then lastly, we will join it with a space. And let's go ahead and remove these two lines of code from here. And then lastly, we need to have the summary. So let's delete this. And here let's tap dollar symbol curly braces summary. All right, now let's go ahead and add this post HTML to this uh, post container division. So let's go over here and uh, let's type post container dot inner HTML plus equals. And we need to add the post HTML over here. All right now let's go ahead and save this and let's see whether it works. Let's go back to our website and let's go to the home page. Let's scroll down and the posts are not visible. So let's go to our console and let's see whether we have any errors. Let's go to the console and uh, here we have this error cannot read properties of undefined. So let's click on this uh, link. And uh, here we have this typo, it should be rel not ref. So let's go back over here. And uh, here we need to change this to rel. And here we have one more error, we need to change this to post container, not post container. So here we can see we have posts. So let's change this to post container. And let's click on save. Let's go back to our website and reload. Now here we can see that all the details are being displayed over here. We need to fix some of these things over here. The first thing we will fix is the thumbnail. So the thumbnails are not being displayed. Let's go back to our code. And for the thumbnail, we need to add media dollar symbol thumbnail dot URL for the actual thumbnail. So let's tap dot URL and let's save this. Let's go back to our website and reload. And now the thumbnails are being displayed, but uh, they don't have the correct resolution. So if you go to the URL of the thumbnail, let's right click over here and go to open image in a new tab. And if you take a look at the URL, here we can see that we have this S72. And this is basically the resolution. And if you change this to for example, S300. Now we can see that we have a clearer image. So let's change the value. So here let's go ahead and type dot replace and we need to replace S72 with S300 and let's save this. Let's go back to our website and reload. And now we can see we have the clearer image and now we need to set the height for the image. So let's go ahead and set a same height for all these images. Let's go back and let's go to the CSS and let's go to the services container. And here we will add one more selector. Let's tap dot services container IMG. And let's set the height of the image to let's try 164 pixels. Let's click on save. 
Let's go back to our website and reload. And now we can see we have the correct size for the image. Now the last thing we need to do is uh, we need to display just two of these lines over here for this uh, summary. So for that we will use a CSS property and it is called line clamp. So first of all let's go to our paragraph and let's add a class over here. So here for this p tag let's type class equals and let's add a class of snippet. Right now let's go to our CSS and let's search for services container. And let's scroll down and uh, here for the snippet let's type services container snippet or right, let's go ahead and add snippet directly so that we can use it anywhere and uh, here we need to add some css properties first of all we need to set the display to hyphen webkit box then we need to type hyphen webkit box orient and we need to set it to vertical and then we need to type webkit line clamp and we need to set it to 2 because we need to clamp it for 2 lines and then we need to type overflow hidden and then lastly we need to type text overflow ellipsis so that we have dot 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 displayed at the end so now let's go ahead and click on save let's go back to our website and reload and now we can see that our blog posts are displayed over here and everything is working alright we have the placeholder thumbnail displayed for when we don't have the thumbnail we have the other thumbnails displayed over here and uh, let's see whether the links are correct so let's click on one of these posts this is for how to make your life easy with chat gpt and here we can see that we are taken to the correct link let's go back and uh, let's click on this link over here best image generation tools so we are taken to the correct links so the links are working all right let's check out the links of these labels let's click on ai and here we can see that we are taken to the link of AI and uh, we have the posts of AI displayed over here. Let's click on technology and we are taken to the links of the technology label. So everything is working alright. So that's basically how you can add this uh, latest blog post details in your homepage using blogger JSON feed. Alright, so that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.